a really good lighting. We look kind of orange though. <laughs> Ready? Do you mind with the A Night Tribe? A Night Tribe, welcome back to another video with Happy Fam Vlogs. Happy you, 2020. Yeah, happy 2020, happy new year. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And we're just trying to do a little sit down video real quick because uh, we're about to go to where? We're gonna go to that beach. To the beach in the winter. Woo! So you guys better stay tuned for the next video so you guys can watch those videos. Anyways, I just wanted to do a quick like little sit down like I said. Um, that doesn't know what it's about yet. Uh, but the other day I did mention like something about it. So this video is about the topic of like to the girls or guys that like believe in using their fists to solve their problems like especially in middle school and like high school and elementary school what do you think about that don't use your fist use your words i know it's easier Come from a guy that it's easier to just do action instead of talking about it. It's easier to use your face, but talking about things result anything in this life. It's a process and talk about it. I highly don't believe in using your face. I, I feel like violence should be needed to be able to get a point across. So it's my personal opinion. What do you think so yeah you guys may have your own opinions and if this video doesn't interest you then just go ahead and just don't watch the rest but sincerely like we're trying to do this to try to like touch some of you guys and you know possibly change some of your mentalities out there you as little kids out there you young teenagers young adults so me personally like okay the inspiration for this video was a relative of mine, I won't like say exactly who, but a relative of mine and some relatives um, have been in these kind of situations where like, oh, this girl or for whatever reason wants to fight me, you know? And I'm not saying that my relatives are 100% innocent, you know? Like I wasn't there, I didn't know what happened or whatever, but I'm just saying like, at the end of the day, like why fight? Like why? Especially like, uh, did I say who it is? If you kill it, if you kill it, they say if you don't, it's done because it could cost more. What I'm saying is like, if it's already resolved, it can be reversed. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of, I like that aggressive, you should get to the Okay, so. And then they'll, there's my case, they'll figure it out too, you know? Especially coming from us, they, they know they follow us, so they'll be like... So, I don't know, it's just like when my relative told me the story and everything, it just really touched me because I was in similar situations where because of problems and like jealousy and all this stuff, like these girls wanted to fight me too and in elementary school I did fall for it, you know, I did end up using my hands and fought back because I had enough too. It comes to a point where you just have enough and you just like, just want them to just leave you alone, you know? But this specific relative, um, I honestly like look up to her a lot because she has so much strength and she's so strong and she's so brave that she relied on using her words instead of fighting back or instead of giving so much attention to those girls that wanted to, you know, cause the problems or keep the problems going with with fighting. Like at the end of the day I just I truly don't understand like why why there's these kind of girls out there that wanna fight, you know, like 
what are you gonna gain with fighting at the end of the day like you're just gonna get in trouble do you just like getting in trouble like if you're one of those type of girls and you're watching this video like do you just like to get in trouble do you want attention like i sincerely want to like know and understand you guys i'm not putting you guys down i'm just saying like everyone at the end of the day has their own reasons for their own actions but do you just want attention you know like is that the only way your parents give you the attention? Like when you're in trouble and you know, they they like, hey, mija, or hey, mijo, like why, you know, like, and then they just give you that attention that you just crave. Um, do you just like making other kids, other girls feel bad? Does that give you adrenaline to keep doing it and keep, you know? Like, I just sincerely want to understand why. So if you know someone or, you are that person like maybe comment down below or send us a message you know or maybe you maybe you sincerely just need someone to talk to like we're here you know but at the end of the day i just i i don't see like why is that what you think well i can say that you're right but like i feel like at the end of the day, don't get it wrong, guys. I feel like everybody goes through so much stuff and only you know why you do those things, you know? So it's not like we're here putting you down. We actually want to understand you and truly get to know, like, why was was the reason behind all those actions? Because every action has a reason behind it, right? But at the end of the day, I feel like don't... Like, if you're one of those persons that like to get into fights, like, say, either because of popularity or, like... Popularity You know, like, because I feel like sometimes... At those age, like you just want to be known, and maybe that's the way that you might think you're gonna be known. But do you really want to be known for that? Like, think about it. You know, like, what are you getting out of it? You're gonna get more bad things out of it than good things. And I feel like fights should only happen in self-defense. You know, like if somebody's attacking you, you should fight back, of course. You know, but that's the only way. Like, use your hands only when you have to, when you really have to. But if you don't have to. I was using words. Even then, even then, like I'm telling you, this relative, like they were so close to just fighting it out, but she like chose to use her words. And so like I'm saying, even then, I feel like the strongest person is the one who mm -hmm. decides to use their words, you know, like even then if someone's coming at you, like she's been in these kind of situations too, where they were just already coming at her and, you know, she like stopped them real quick with their, with her words. And you see so like even then i feel like it shouldn't be used but you know yeah situations but vary, yeah, like, yeah. vary from each other you know so like what i was trying to say is that only if you're like in a dead situation like that but like yeah like what best says i look up to this relative to because that's very powerful right there that's how you can see that words are powerful and they can pretty much take you anywhere Yes. So, also too, don't use your words in a wrong way because see that could actually cause yeah, more problems. Yeah, that could cause more problems. So be very smart and wise and you all are, you are all very smart and wise and just know that at the end of the day it's about love guys. Don't, don't try to get no attention because you're, or you think you're more cool because you're going to fire and this and that and pull up a big crowd. Because let me tell you this, one day right now it's a school and you might go to a principal and this kind of little travels and shit and, and you might think like it's not a big deal. But all those things build up and one day it could be like you're going to jail. Do you really want that in your life? Like do you really want to go in life? And guess what? All those friends that you have in the back, they're not gonna be there. Because the end of the day, nobody's gonna go in jail with you. It's only you gonna go to jail. And who like, who's really gonna bail you out? Like think about it. Are yeah. those friends that were behind you saying, Yeah, 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 fight, fight, mm -hmm. fight, 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 are they really gonna be able like have the guts to now go see you in jail and bail you out? Like really? They're not. They're not even gonna visit you. They're gonna forget about you. They don't even care about you. That's how it is. It's reality, you know. So that's what I'm saying. Now it's just because you have a lot of people in the back, and you might think you feel strong. You're like, yeah, I can do whatever. You're never gonna have a lot of people once you go down here. So, so no. another thing too is like, well, this relative was telling me the story. She she said that once they were like parting ways, um, this girl said, like, why are you just trying to make me look bad? And then this relative said. At the end of the day, I'm not trying to make you look bad. You're making yourself look bad because you're wanting to use your hands and fight and like get in this kind of trouble like all the time. And I'm just trying to do me and just get my life together and just, you know, get through school. So 
I I really like looked up to that too because yeah, at the end of the day, like, are you do you do you sincerely like do you sincerely think that those people that didn't want to fight you are making you look bad or or because they told on you they're making you look bad like at the end of the day you chose to be there you chose to want to get into the fight you chose to want to bring this big crowd to like cause a scene like you're you truly are making yourself look bad if that's what it is you know or if you want to make yourself look good but at the end of the day like we said you're the one that's going to end up in trouble and who's going to be there like who's going to have your back while you're going to try to cause this scene and fight you may have that crowd but when you're in there who's there no one so i don't know i, I had a strong a very strong opinion on this subject but it's just it's a lot to say and at the same time like I get I get like so passionate that sometimes my words just don't come out but <laughs> but off camera like Bebe knows I can go on for days and yeah. like keep going and but and it also has to do too you know like yes we're taking it a little personal too because this is somebody that we look up to and we love you know and just like anybody we don't like our loved ones being hurt and especially when this situation is happening it makes us sad you know because come on guys you know like we should switch the system. It's about switching that kind of system. You know, like, why is it always so like, oh, there's gonna be a fight, there's gonna be, everybody's so hype. You know, even those people that are encouraging to have other kids fight, you know, like, don't do that. That's messed up. Cause all you're doing is just like throwing bad energy and they're gonna be the ones getting in trouble. Are you gonna be there to help them? You're not. Are you gonna be so happy like, oh yeah, let me go help my friend I'll get him in, out of that trouble. You're not gonna do that. So stop doing that, you know, like, you should encourage yourself to do great things, not be encouraging yourself to go fight and all this stuff. Like, like don't do that, guys. You know, like guys and girls. You know, like take care of each other, be there for each other. If you're really true friends, a true friend doesn't do that. A true friend doesn't want another friend to go downhill. A true friend wants it to go uphill. You know, so don't, don't encourage those kind of things. If you really think about it, the crowd that you have and they're encouraging to fight, it's not a good crowd to be around. You know, because that's what we're saying. They're gonna just lead you in the wrong way. So get away from that crowd and even you. It's hard. It's hard. Don't get us wrong. Mm -hmm. Like we know it's hard to get away from those kind of people because sometimes once you're in that crowd, it's like, who do I have if I'm out? You know. You feel lonely after that. But at the end of the day, it's like you got to think about yourself. Like mm -hmm. this is the time where you do got to be selfish and just think about yourself and think about actually think about your loved ones. Like if you don't have your parents behind you. Well, maybe you have a little sister, maybe you have a little brother, maybe you have some cousins that are really close and that you really love and that you don't ever want anything to happen to them. And maybe it is your parents or maybe it's your grandparents, but this is the time where you gotta think about them too. Like first think about yourself, like do I really want this for myself? But if you don't cherish yourself enough, think about the ones that you love and think about like, do I really wanna put this kind of problems on them? Do I really wanna put them through this? Like if it's your parents, if it's your grandparents, and they're working at nine to five jobs, eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours a week at 12 hours a day. Like, do you really want to put this extra problems on them? Wouldn't you rather have like good things to bring home and tell them like, hey, you know, I accomplished this or I did this. And like, you know, do you really want this extra pressure on your loved ones or once you grow up someday, these are patterns that you're creating. If you think you can solve problems by using your hands, by fighting, these are these are now bigger problems that one day when you get older, do you really want your son or your daughter one day, or your, like I said, your parents to come and see you behind a jail thing? Like, I, I know how what it feels like to be on that side, on the other side with like watching someone you love, you know, so it sucks and it's like for me watching someone you love be on the other side and you know i i tell them like i felt like do you really when will you ever really listen like this isn't right this isn't good you know get your shit together get your life together because we we suffer through it too you think that you're the one that's only going through it no we go through it too and we don't want to see you go through that kind of stuff so if you're a young woman or young girl out there and you think by using your hands by getting into trouble by always getting into trouble if you think this is really like right if you think this is your life go for it you know but we're 
we know a lot of you guys out there what like watching us and keeping up with us like really truly look up to us and if you are one of those like this is this is the time maybe this is the message that you needed to hear maybe this is the the message that god is sending to you like hey son daughter get your shit together like this is time to turn it all around you're still young don't wait till you get to being 20 21 and like you know maybe this is the message like i said you guys need to hear and we hope you guys really took it to heart and you know this is the time that if you are one of those kids that think that solving problems by using your hands is the way to go maybe this is your message the time to change it all around and it's never too late remember that and if you're on the other side of the girl or the little kid that always feels like they're getting picked on and that no one's listening and no one's cares you know i hope this video showed you that we actually do care and there is people that care and we're here you know like we care about you guys so also don't allow yourself to go all the way downhill too because you're just making them happy you're making the people that are picking on you you're making the people that are bullying on you that want to fight you you're making them happy if you're allowing yourself to go downhill get bad grades also get in trouble go through the depression want to commit suicide like you're making the other side win you're making them win the only way you can truly fight back is just keep doing you keep being you do great in life get good grades and one day you'll be looking at them and they'll be looking at you whether it's through social media or whatever but they'll be like dang look at look at this kid now like one day i picked on him and now look at him or look at this girl like one day i wanted to truly like just pull her hair out and now look at her like now she's doing great things and now look where i'm at you know like sooner or later the tables do turn and the mm -hmm. the positions do switch so if you're on this side and you know you feel like you're helpless or no one's listening to you like this is your message too that we're here we're listening and we're we're cheering you on we're we're you know we're motivating you to get back on your feet and go back to school this next day and you know keep fighting keep fighting back but in positive ways and fight back by taking care of yourself like making sure you're just getting your shit done you know like that's where i'm coming from yes i like the message for me it's always about to push harder you know let your success be the noise and like us like the best say we always here for you guys you know so if you guys ever need to talk if you guys ever need to just somebody there we're always here for you we've been through similar situations you know and we have learned things and we have grown out of them and we would like to hear what you guys think about this topic how do you guys feel we would also like to hear about you guys like how do you guys feel how does all of this make you feel because we want to understand what the end is about understanding each other i feel like that's how we connect more because if we don't understand each other we might only have a point of view or like we might only see one way but maybe you see a different way maybe that would help us that would help us grow too you know and see it in a different way too so we would like your feedback so comment down below whatever you think this topic or how do you relate to it or if you've been in similar situations if you have relatives or whoever you know just comment down below guys share share your stories share your with stories us. with us too and you know we'll be responding and stuff and at the end of the day there is two sides to every story so mm -hmm. i know whether you're the one that wants to always get in trouble or you're the one that is trying to stay out of trouble there is two sides to every story and each side and each person has their story you know like mm -hmm. maybe this person is just suffering too much mm -hmm. and you know like it's just going through a lot but why put even more on you when you're already going through a lot you know mm -hmm. if you're don't have the best life at home if your situation isn't the best like why even put yourself in the fire anymore if you're already going through so much and this side you know like you're you have your own story too but maybe you have to go through this shit just like i've been through that shit and i know bebe has too like maybe you have to go through this stuff to make you stronger mm -hmm. you know it's not the best and it shouldn't be the right way that you have to go through something to make you stronger but it's it's reality sometimes so i'm not cheering this thing on i'm just saying like 
we know that everybody we know goes we know you guys go through stuff each mm -hmm. whatever side it is we know you guys go through so, you guys go through something and everyone goes through something so but at the end of the day, i just don't feel like why put each other down or why fight you know like mm -hmm. it shouldn't be the way to go it shouldn't if you guys have problems solve them be a bigger person and just talk it out face to face you know those are the strongest people and the ones that are going to make it far in life the ones that can just face someone that they have a problem with and just be like hey let's solve this let's talk it out mm -hmm. you know So it's a 2020 message, guys. Stay tuned. I know it's a little serious, but we love you guys. And that's why we feel passionate about this topic, because we love you guys, you know? We want to help you guys. We and we know a big following of ours is those mm -hmm, kids that those are kids. in middle school. And so that's what I'm saying. Whenever something we hear something like that goes wrong and stuff, it affects us too. Just know that we're here for you. We care for you. And stay strong. God willing, pretty soon we're going to be visiting again some schools some schools because we want to you know see you guys live so interact maybe they interact maybe we get to know each other and then we have more build more confidence more trust so that we even there you can like you know we can talk things out and if you don't feel comfortable in person you know like we said send us message. a message and maybe you know maybe you are stuck and maybe you are going through a situation mm -hmm. and no one wants to listen maybe your parents don't know mm -hmm. how to solve it maybe they've already tried so many times but you're still going through it and maybe you're at the breaking point where you just think like it's sad to say but i know some of you out there mm -hmm. you think the only way out is ending your life you know so like mm -hmm. we're here and if you guys actually do need someone to like go to your school and if you know like you're in our area then let nice, us know nice. and hit us up and we will like i don't have to know you like one-to-one -one, but if you are in the situation i feel like i feel for you you know i feel mm -hmm. for you no matter what so if you are in the situation this is a situation where i feel like very passionate about so i will go talk to your principal i will go talk to your teachers i i will do what i have to do to end this this situation for you so just let us know hit us up if someone you know, one of your close friends, you know, you see it, let us know, hit us up, and we will we'll, go and speak we'll be for there. you. We'll be your voice, like you just don't feel like you have mm -hmm. one, you know? Yeah, we're always there for you, so let us know, and we are always willing to help you guys, you know? So it's just about letting us know, don't be afraid, and speak up. We love you. This is A. And I. Heart Potion. Heart Potion? <laughs> yeah, we're still hard pushing. Hard pushing. Happy Fan Blogs is our YouTube name channel, but we're still A and I hard pushing. That's if this name. video touched you, make sure you share it. Share it with a friend that needs to hear this. Share it mm -hmm. with your brother, sister, relative, cousin, whoever Parents, needs to hear this like message. Anybody. Just send it to someone. Comment down below, like say, share, share your stories with us, and let us know how you feel about this topic. And this is. A and I, I out. out. That was a lot.